Saban's poised to break that record and get his seventh overall, six with the Crimson Tide. Now, Nick Saban is still not done coaching, but it brings up a very interesting debate. So what do we want to do? We want to bring in the experts, the greatest court in all of the college football land. He's back again once again. It's the segment I like to call Too Many Chris Wrinkles. <laughs> Hey, you can never have too many Chris Wrangles, but like you said, you want to argue Saban versus Bryant. It's comparing apples and oranges. I mean, they're so similar in so many different ways. And like you said, Nick Saban isn't quite done yet, but he's doing a lot of the things that Bear Bryant did way back in the day. But in comparing all of that, you really need experts. So we took it to the highest court in all of college football and the lovable idiots who are going to break it all down for us. The court of college football is back at session. Order, order. The court of college football is back in session. This case number four is a big one. The case of the GOAT. Nick Saban versus Bear Bryant. I'd like for the people to remember me as being a, a winner because I ain't never been done with a winner. I'd really rather not have any more questions about is it okay to lose this game? It's never okay to lose a game. Counselors, you may approach the bench. <laughs> To decide on such an important case, we have assembled a jury of your peers. Actually, Your Honor, we're going to move that juror number four be dismissed. Come on, guys. I can be unbiased. Yeah, right, buddy. Get out of here. Whatever. War Eagle, y'all. Agreed. Juror number four, you are dismissed. Really? Hey, buddy, long time. Counselors, you may begin your arguments. Now, esteemed and, might I say, very handsome members of the jury, this all comes down to winning. What else do we play the game for? And the fact of the matter is, Bear Bryant has won more than Nick Saban. Now, I know what you're all thinking. Saban hasn't finished his career yet. But in order to catch Bear Bryant's 323 total wins, Nick Saban needs six and a half more undefeated seasons. Well, when we're talking about win totals, you have to remember how much time Nick Saban spent time in the NFL as a head coach and a coordinator. Had he just gone straight to college, that win total would have been a lot closer. But when he's been at college, he's been second to none. Saban has never had a losing season. In today's world of scholarship restrictions and high Highly competitive recruiting. What Nick Saban has done on the field is second to none. Winning isn't everything in today's day and age. Winning national championships is everything. I submit into evidence Nick Saban's six national titles. And the Crimson Tide has once again ascended to the top of the college football mountain. Now I know on paper that these two gentlemen have the same amount of national championships, but two of Bear Bryant's, 64 and 73, are heavily contested. Nick Saban did something Bear never did. He won at another school, building LSU into a championship caliber program in 2003. Before we go talking about claiming national championships, the Bear could have claimed plenty more at Alabama. But national championships aside, let's talk about SEC championships, because Bear has doubled the amount of Nick Saban. He has 14 to Saban's seven. Bear Bryant's impact on the world of college football is still being felt today. He's been dead for 35 years, and he still has former assistants in the NFL and the college football ranks. Bottom line, Nick Saban, what he's doing, he's benefiting off of what Bear Bryant built. Nick Saban might not be the first one in this argument, but at the end of the day, he's doing something that no one else has done in the history of college football. Think of all the SEC coaches that have been gone because they haven't done what Saban has done. Les Miles, Brett Bielema, Mark Richt. Bottom line, Nick Saban is winning at a clip that no one else in college football has done at the similar span. I'm gonna stop this court right here. Now, with a case like this, we're not gonna be able to really reach a final verdict until we see Nick Saban's entire career. So I'm going to table this discussion until Nick Saban retires and we're able to look at his career under a microscope. Case is tabled until after Nick Saban retires. Next up is UCF, if they belong in the college football playoff. Yes, finally, it's my turn. I'm gonna say everyone some time and say the answer is no. Certainly an interesting discussion, whichever way you break it down. But like they said, Nick Saban's final career, that's when we'll really be able to determine how many national championships, wins, and all that he has. And then we'll be able to accurately compare him to Bear Bryant.